This week we're in my hometown of Southern Maryland, known for its famous blue crabs, 10 ounce Bud Lights, and also responsible for some of the state's largest whitetails. super excited about having their first sit of the year. We got all of our gear together, started loading up the four-wheelers, talking, carrying on. Pat got a new crossbow this year, so we were helping him set up the Raven. Before we knew it, it was time to head out. So we packed up, loaded up the four-wheelers, and got in the stand. It was a great hunt, everybody saw deer, Pap was able to shoot a doe, we were able to recover that deer. And so we went in, we ate dinner, had a great time, got to talk about where we were going to go and set up for the next morning. Um, so the next morning, we got everything ready to go and we set out for the AM.
that's going to be a wrap for Maryland this week. Unfortunately, we didn't kill one of the giants that I was hoping for, but that's all right because we're going to be hanging out up there for quite a bit this season. Next, we're heading down to North Carolina. And a um, little backstory on this property that we're going to hunt. We were able to hunt this property um, through a buddy of ours that gave us permission. We don't own it. Um, for two seasons now. So we're able to manage it a little bit, um, do some work in the off season and get it ready for that early bow season and, and the rest of the year. Unfortunately, the property was sold um, right before, uh, really when the time is that we would be setting up cameras, we'd be putting our corn out, um, you know, working on food plots. And so we weren't able to get any of that done like we had hoped for. And then, as luck would have it, in kind of like the fourth quarter Hail Mary like scenario, the property that was sold was now unsold so we're able to hunt it for a little bit while longer I'm not sure what the what the details are on that is it is going to be sold in the future um, but we're able to hunt it for a little bit during this season so with that in mind anything goes we're looking for does and uh, we ended up having a great evening so let's take a look <laughs> this is one of those times where I debated, do I show this footage? Do I just say, oh, I was going to pass him because he was too small? Do I pretend like, and no, 100% was trying to shoot that deer. This buck came in and I knew it was small, but like I said, we may not get to hunt this property for two more weeks, maybe, or two more months. Like nobody knows. So um, I was trying to shoot this buck and it came in behind the tree. So I was able to film him through a little opening that I had but there was no way for me to shoot the deer. So I waited for him to come all the way around and he started smelling where I walked in. He started trickling his way down the tree, you know, and I am getting so excited. I am so jacked up and pumped because I'm like, he's gonna come right in my stand. He's coming right to me. I'm gonna be able to shoot this deer. Like I got so excited. And you can hear actually the entire time my bow rattling throughout this this footage. And then we get to the end and I go to draw back and I'm on, you know, I'm ready. I've got everything where I want it. And I go gling 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 and shake all the way back. <laughs> of course the deer runs off and he's gone. So yeah, buck fever. Big old five point. Well, we ended up having a great evening. Bryce was able to shoot a doe and so went over there, helped him recover that deer, and it ended up being a great evening for us. Thank you guys for watching this week's episode. Make sure you subscribe so you can watch all of our videos. Like, share, comment, all the above. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Oh gosh, what did I just say? <laughs>